Did you consider taking it off? Cersei once called me the stupidest Lannister. And you're going back to her, to die with her. You've underestimated her before. She's going to die. Unless you can convince her to change her course of action. Difficult to do from here. When have I ever been able to convince Cersei of anything? Try. If not for yourself, if not for her, then for every one of the million people in that city, innocent or otherwise. To be honest, I never really cared much for them. Innocent or otherwise. You do care for one innocent. I know you do. And so does Cersei. She has her reason now. Child is the reason she'll never give an inch. All the worst things she's ever done, she's done for her children. It's not impossible that she'll win. She won't. Her enemy's forces have been depleted as she said they would be. Two of the three dragons are dead. She's even the odds. The city will fall tomorrow. She has the Lannister army, she has the gold. I defended company. the city last time it was attacked. I know it better than anyone. It will fall tomorrow. Then I suppose I'll die tomorrow, if not before. Why? Escape. The two of you, together. Remember where we met? Where they keep the dragon skulls, beneath the Red Keep? Take her down there. Keep following the stairways down, down as far as they'll go. You'll come out onto a beach at the foot of the keep. A dinghy will be waiting for you. Sail out of the bay. If the winds are kind, you'll make it to Pentos. Start a new life. Sail right past the Iron Fleet and into a new life. Sounds a lot less likely than Cersei winning this war. There won't be an Iron Fleet for much longer. Do it. If you don't, you'll never see Cersei again. Swear to me. You have my word. If it works, give the order to ring all the bells in King's Landing and open the gates. Mm. That will be our signal that the city has surrendered. I'll try. I never thought I'd get to repay the favor. Mm. Remember, ring the bells and open the gates. Your queen will execute you for this. If Daenerys can make it to the throne without wading through a river of blood, maybe she'll show mercy to the person who made that possible. Tens of thousands of innocent lives. One not particularly innocent dwarf. It seems like a fair trade. If it weren't for you, I never would have survived my childhood. You would have. You were the only one who didn't treat me like a monster. You were all I had. Mm. <laughs>